Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unique Weapons and Armor of Tamriel. I am your host, Outlaw0420, Priest of Azura. In this series, we go after the unique named weapons and armor in the Elder Scrolls Online. I also give you the financial value if you're looking to make some quick gold. Today's weapon is the Reekling Scroll Cleaver, which is part of the Freud's Legacy Set. We can get this weapon by completing the quest Merit and Mystery, which is located in East March. To start the quest, we'll have to talk to Freya Coldstone. It is for the little town called Crag Wallow. And to start the quest, like I said, we do have to talk to Freya Coldstone. And she is right here. So let's talk to her. Hail and well met. What are you doing here? Taking a break? Waiting for some plants? I'm a royal road worker. Do you appreciate the flat, even roads throughout East March? You can thank us for those. We've earned a little relaxation. We're throwing a celebration in Crag Wallow. Celebration sounds like fun. You should join us. It'll be a night to remember. We even have a bard. He was passing by and agreed to perform at the party. Go talk to Burr Stormheart, right up the road. He's our overseer. I'm sure he'll let you crash the party. Cool, I'll go talk to him. Alright, I'll fast forward through all the boring parts and we'll be at the best parts. Another traveler wanders in, but you don't look like a bard. I heard you're a royal work crew. You've got that right. We work hard and relax harder. You're welcome to join us. A bard wandered into camp right before you, so we'll have music as well as me. Anything I can do to help? The cooks, Kalaga and Hegia, are arguing over what to serve for the party. Uh, they're up near the main hall. Kalaga favors steaks. Hegia wants to make broth stew. They want me to choose, but I hate to pick favorites. You decide. Cool. You look like you need a bear steak. Charred on the outside, bloody in the middle. Okay. Taste is. I think it needs a pinch more salt. Okay, I think we will go with the bear steak. You look like you need a bear. Bears and the workers want meat, seared, salted, and still bleeding. I ask you, what goes better with a cask of mead than a good bear steak? Nothing. That's what. Pig bear probably wants to make that fancy goat stew of hers. She uses herbs. No respectable Nord uses herbs. That's where you come in. You look like you could carve up a bear. Go lure old Iron Claw from his cave. Just toss these leftovers Hegvir made out front. It should attract a bear. Goodness knows no Nord will eat this stuff. Alright, I'll go get your steaks. That old bear should be in his lair this time of the day. It's north and west from here. Just drop that old lunch on the rock in front of the cave. The smell should lure old Ironclaw out, and you can take care of him. <laughs> Wonderful. These bear steaks will feed a lot of people. Did old Ironclaw give you any trouble? No trouble at all. Well done, friend. I mean, rare. Good and rare. I'll start searing these steaks right away. You know what goes good with bear steak? Mead! And bears needs a few more barrels. Go see Raldaf Wolfkin at the storehouse. Get his key and get the mead. Mead ho. What do you want? Cook says you need more mead. Tea? What tea? Wasn't their fault. 
They didn't mean to take it. I won't say any more. I won't tattle on my friends. Okay, but I can go get the key. The key is lost, but I know where it is. So, one of my wolf friends snatched it off my belt, swallowed it in one go. I refuse to kill them for a key. They're beautiful, noble creatures. A woman who once loved me treated them as kings. Awesome. I do. If you had known Olga and seen her among the wolves, then you would look at them differently too. She was blessed by kind and the wolves were always gentle around her. She taught me to respect them. Oh, my fair Olga. Unfortunately, we do need the key. Do what you must then. They ran to the north. They're probably not far. I can't bear to watch this. It's okay, I took care of the bear. Looks like you've been busy. Thanks for all your help. Now relax and have some fun. Party's already started. You know, we could do some music. Thought there was a bard. Oh, there is. He's the one not dressed like a royal worker. He's upstairs last I checked. Why don't you go up and ask him to play us a song? Sounds like fun. A fine gathering. A fine gathering indeed. Everyone's hoping to hear a song or two. I suppose I have made them wait long enough. I like to build anticipation in my audience. It makes the reaction that much better. So then play. Yes, yes, it's time. A bard must always gauge the audience. You want them relaxed, receptive. If they are too deep. Cups, they can't appreciate the wonderful tones of my lute. My fine ladies and handsome gentlemen, it is time for music. Relax and listen to my songs. Let the music soothe. dead and injured people all over the place and who are you god damn it and you shouldn't drink the mead I need to figure out what happened here my friends deserve answers I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm the overseer for the royal work crews in this area when I left for Wilhelm a few days ago, my workers were hale and whole. Now I come back to find many of them cut down and the rest injured and confused. I need answers. I blacked out. You and anyone else who survived whatever happened here. I need to report to Yar. How did you end up in Cragwallow? The workers invited me to a celebration. My gut tells me you aren't responsive. No injuries, but you seem to be recovering your wits well enough. Help me investigate what happened. Talk to some of the survivors. Let's see if we can piece together recent events. Sure, I'll go talk to the survivors. We need to figure out what happened here. I want to catch whoever's responsible for this. Did you see who attacked? One pint of mead. Not even. Half a pint at best. My memory is all hazy. I sang along with the bard. His lute was just enchanting. Next thing I know, I wake up covered in wounds. It's a mystery. But did you see anything? Such a blur. I might have seen things moving around. Not quite human, but too small to be trolls. Not ice wraiths, either. 
Those things leave ice all over the place. Yes, that's it. We were attacked by small, not quite human, things. That makes my job a fuck ton easier. My head aches and everything looks blurry. The overseer asked me to ask. I took a hard knock on the head. I don't remember much from earlier today. There was drinking and singing and pie. I, I think I remember pie. Did you see or hear anything before you were hit? I wish I could remember something. I was relaxed, drinking a bit. I heard the bard start to play and I decided I was going to have another piece of pie. Next thing I knew, I woke up with this lump on my head and, and they're all dead. I'll find who did this. Show them no mercy. Oh, I think I need to lay down for a while. Why would anyone attack Cragwallow? Did you see what happened? To be honest, I wasn't seeing all that clearly before the attack. I admit I had a drink. Or seven. I remember there was singing. Then the screaming started. Or was it screaming and then singing? Who was screaming? The attackers or the workers? It's all so confusing. But now that you mention it, Perhaps it was more like shrieking, like some kind of angry creature swooping in for the kill. Can you remember anything else? No, I, I wish I could. That poor bard, I think I remember him yelling too. All right, where's our friend? seems confused. Did you find out anything at all? People remember having fun listening to the bard and then they were attacked. In a haze of memories, that bard and his music stand out like the sun on a clear winter's day. But where is he? I don't see a bard among the living or the dead. We need to find that, that bard. I agree. Search the area and see if you can find him. People remember music, and the bard is missing. A coincidence? Maybe, but I don't like the sound of it. I'll stay here to help the wounded and keep watch over the camp. I'll go find the bard. There was nothing I could do. I'm looking for the bard. I'm one of the royal workers. I followed the creatures that dragged off the bard, Reeklings, unless I miss my guess. They haven't been seen around these parts in years. There were too many of the foul creatures. I couldn't help him. Where'd they take him? Into that cave. I never even knew there was a cave up here. He was still alive when they dragged him in there. The goblins seemed excited about something. Have you searched the cave? I'm a road worker, not a soldier. I'm not going to walk into a den of reeklings. That would be suicide. Whatever has the Reeklings so riled up probably led to the attack on Cragwallow. I hope you can save the Bard and figure out what's going on. I'll go search the cave. Get me out of here! Are you alright? No, I'm not alright. These creatures dragged me here after slaughtering half the workers at Craigwallow. You remember what happened? Why doesn't anyone else? Well, about that, I'm not actually a bard. I found the loot. It's enchanted. I play a few notes and my audience falls asleep. They wake up later, a little confused, a little groggy, and missing some gold or an item or two. <laughs> Perfectly safe. People died because of your flute. I had no idea it would attract Reeklings. They placed it on that 
altar thing over there. Their chief seems to like to look at it. He keeps coming in. Makes me nervous how he stares at me. It sounds like I need to destroy it. But it, it's... Well... I suppose you're right. Go ahead and destroy it. Then we can get out of here. You're going to have to get the key from the Reaping Chieftain to let me out of the cage. You are going to let me out, aren't you? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Sure, what I'm gonna do with you? What? You wouldn't leave me in here. I had no idea the loot would attract the Reeklings. It never did before, and I never wanted the workers to get hurt. I'm not a violent person. If you promise to surrender yourself, I'll let you out. I'm not a criminal, but not a dangerous one. All right. I swear by the snow on my mother's grave. I'll turn myself in. <laughs> I'm very sorry about what happened. You promised to surrender yourself. Yes, of course, I did promise. I don't suppose I could just promise to find a new line of work and then we could just skip the part that requires me to surrender. Sure, but I'll kill you afterwards. All right, all right. I'll go back to Crag Wallow and tell the royal warden. The truth. I may not be the most honest lord, but I promised I would surrender myself to the royal workers if you got me away from the Reeklings, and I will. I never intended for anyone to get hurt. I'll stay away from enchanted items from now on. Alrighty, and there we go. Reekling Skull Cleaver. Absorb stamina enchantment deals 1884 physical damage and restores 288 stamina. Decisive is the trait. When you gain ultimate, you have a 42.4% chance to gain one additional ultimate. Part of the Freud's Legacy set. Two items add 115 weapon and spell damage. Three items add 588 critical chance. Four items add 115 stamina recovery. Five items reduce the cost and increase the movement speed bonus of sprint by 15%. For helping the royal world for helping the royal road workers of Cragwallow and stopping the reekling menace, this axe was awarded. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed finding unique weapons and armor in Tamriel. If you enjoyed these dose of tones, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else the YouTube gods demand of you. I do stream here on YouTube. If you want to stay up to date with that, you can follow me on Twitter. Where I do post whenever I go live for my streams or any of my videos. And as always, remember... Someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you. May Azora's glow guide you ever warmly. Bye.